Hello there everyone and welcome back for another map mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Canadian National Map version 1.0. The file size is 710 megabytes and there is 14 huge fields on this map which we're going to be taking a look at. Now what I usually do is we'll go over to the menus, we'll check out the different fruit types that are on this map, see what it has to offer. We'll take a look at our starting fleet and then lastly we'll take a tour of the map and see what it has to offer. So I'm just going to go ahead and start it with those mods, it doesn't matter. But everything's included in this pack. Now this is the map. We'll go over to the menu screen to get a better look at that. We'll press escape and there you go. We have 14 huge size fields. Now, as far as I can tell, you own all these fields to begin with, so that's kind of different. But we have three fields right off the bat with product in them. Field 3 contains corn. Field 2 has canola in it. And field 1 has some wheat. So, you know, we've seen that. Let's go over and take a look at our starting fleet. Garage okay so we get a Fent 900 right off the bat that's nice we get a nice man semi we get a fairly good sized harvester and header we get a chaff combine which is good you can get right into the chaff right away we have a chaff header for that combine we have a small and large sized tipper and a lizard half ton truck so there is your starting fleet now let us I gotta get into flying mode here, so just bear with me for two seconds. By the way, I've done a tutorial on that. If you'd like to learn how to fly, just go watch that video and you'll be all set up. Okay, speed mod is three. So let's take flight. I'm gonna get rid of that screen just for a second. So there is my house. I don't know why I'm moving so slow. It always resets to that for some reason. But yeah, there's the house. Let's bring the field back up for a second. Oh, we'll have to bring up that. Yes. So we'll take a look at this downtown area. Basically, it's right where you're at. One good thing about this map is everything's centrally located. Like you don't have your uh, you don't have your cows lingering down at the end of the map or anything. So. That's really good. I don't know why that keeps going back to zero, but here is part of your farm here. Not a bad job done on this map at all. We have some vehicle storage. It's all lit up inside. There is the place for your pigs. Slurry pickup and manure pickup. There is your chickens. I don't know if you can hear them or what. I had to turn down the main music because of uh, I didn't want to get copy sh copyrighted for that. But now I can turn it up if I can. Oh, I don't know if I can now that I'm in the game. But hopefully you can at least hear me. Oh, that's weird. I can't get to that screen from here, I guess. Ah, there it is. Just bear with me for two seconds. There we go. Now, if you didn't hear it before, you're going to hear it now. There is your sheep zone. That's where you're going to pick up your pallets of wool. And load up your sheep. And Not too sure what this is for. Now, on the map, it's showing a silage symbol. But, let me bring that up again. Okay. Can't seem to get that screen up now. <clears throat> That's fine. So, and then we have our cows over here, of course. The old cow zone. And we got a slurry or a silage pit. Nice and close by. We have the car dealership right across the street. Still trying to figure out why that screen won't come up. Nice Canadian flag fluttering there in the breeze. There's a place to drop off your grain. A place to get fuel, I believe. 
Yeah, I'm not too sure what this is. I was going to bring up my map to see what that is. Yeah, there's a silage uh, stamp on it, so that could be a place to sell that. I'm just not 100% sure. So I do believe that's about it for around the farm. Like I said, you have the car dealership across the street. You got some vehicles here ready to start harvesting and putting it in a tipper. This little commute down here. I see a BGA over here. We got one, two, three, four, five large silage pits. And there is your slurry, which is a byproduct of making and selling silage. So that's pretty cool. Then we have the grain elevator over here. This is like a customer. Okay, you're gonna drop off grain too. Here is where you take your wool. You can tell by the big old ball of yarn on the roof. <laughs> That's kind of neat. There's a place to sell your eggs at the gas station there. There is where you're gonna sell your pigs and take take them, basically. That barn is for selling your straw and bales. We get a nice church over here. What is this place? Windrow Station. That's kind of neat. That's just basically a customer. There's a big old forestry section in this too, guys. So prepare for that. So yeah, we're back at the farm here. There's your silos, like I said. Just trying to see what's in the close proximity here before we start hitting the outskirts of the map. Okay, I think that's pretty much for the downtown core. You seen the BGA bunker and stuff. Okay, we'll head over to the side and we'll just go around. Look at the size of these big old square fields, man. Just love it. And look at all the grass that can be cut down there. Excellent, excellent. This is actually my first map review for Farming Simulator 17. And I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. That's cool. And if you can notice by the map, there's a purple set of tracks that go around the northern half, basically. And then there's a small set of orange or yellow tracks down the bottom. So you do have the trains on here. Let's go around the outside of the map. There's another customer we just passed by. Look at the size of these fields. Wow. Wow. It'll take you a while to get these done. And we're coming up on the forestry section here. Basically, it's all inside this set of tracks. Now, look at the amount of forestry you have here, guys, to play with. Tons of trees. A little set of tracks going in through there. I'm getting a little bit of lag because there's so many trees. It's not too bad, though. There's a place to perk your scorpion and whatnot. We have a little train thing down here for your logs with a crane that's kind of neat really like that and there's some ch there's a, the the lumber companies right stuck in the middle here so that's kind of cool you can bring your trains in the two sets of tracks actually meet up in here at some point that's right over here I kind of like how the trains go in and out of the woods like that so yeah, you can see that set of tracks coming in here. And they basically meet up here at this train station. And then you got your crane in the middle to go from one train to the other, to bring it to the other side of the map. So that's cool. You got our train station down here. Very nice. Let's keep trucking over here. We got another railroad station. Let's sell some product little pond some more fields so yeah from what I'm seeing here that you own all the fields usually if they're green and numbered that means you own them so it looks like you have access to them right off the bat just come around the side here you got another customer stuck over here in the corner another green elevator and I like how the train comes right into the uh, shipyard down here. Very cool. So not a bad looking map overall. It's pretty, uh, it's laid out fairly basically. I love the idea that they have these big, big rectangular fields. I love it. 
So we're going to come back to the firm here and we're going to commit for landing where we will wrap this review up. So guys, if you enjoyed that, please leave a like down below. I'm going to be trying this map out myself, I'm pretty sure. If you're new to the channel, click on my beautiful portrait down there in the corner and subscribe to the channel. There's, I do mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day, as well as a whole bunch of tutorials if you're new to the game. So guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one.